Hello everybody, Gliderman here. So today we're going to be messing around with trees in Blender. Yes, there's a plugin to do that, or add-on, or whatever it's called. Doesn't matter. Uh, it's pretty cool, and I'm going to show you guys how to use it. Uh, so for now, we're just going to delete this cube by pressing X and then left-clicking delete. And we're going to go up to the file menu, and then we're going to go to user preferences. And then uh, in this add-ons tab, uh, you're going to want to search for sapling, and make sure this little checkbox over here is selected. And uh, you probably want to click save user settings so that uh, every time you load up Blender, you won't have to keep re-enabling that add-on. So, uh, now that we're ready to go, I'm just closing that there, uh, we're going to just do Shift A, or you can do the Add menu here, and then we're going to go to Curve, and then Add Tree. And uh, you're going to see there's a lot of settings over here that pop up, um, and you can also see the wireframe of a tree here. So there is a lot of settings. Uh, it defaults in this geometry uh, setting here. Um, and there's also some presets in here. Uh, so if we just went with CA Black Oak, uh, you can see uh, it's kind of all spindly and more so pointing up. But if we went with, uh, let's just say, the Willow, uh, you can kind of see how they're all just draping down. Um, and there's uh, just a couple in here. We're just going to go with this one here. Um, for now, uh, we're going to be messing with the uh, settings. So uh, you can do, obviously, random seeds so that uh, you can have different uh, shaped trees, uh, even if they have the same setting. And you can also uh, save uh, your settings. Um, let's see if we can, uh, there we go, make the tree three-dimensional uh, by clicking the bevel there. And uh, you can adjust uh, the resolution of the curves there. Um, I'm just going to leave it at the 4. Um, and you can also adjust the bevel resolution, uh, which will start to eat up a lot of vertices. Um, so, uh, let's go and we'll go to Armature. Um, I don't think we're going to really need to mess with this too much. Um, so let's look at leaves. Uh, we can do show leaves, and you can see uh, we've got uh, hexagon uh, leaves. Actually, that kind of, yeah, that's a hexagon. Uh, but they don't quite look proper on that kind of tree. I think we're going to need multiple levels. Um, but you can see uh, there's a bunch of settings there. Uh, for pruning, um, I believe that has to do with cutting it off. Uh, let's see, for branch growth, uh, I think these will all be fine. And now for splitting, let's go with three levels. You gotta wait for that to generate, and then bang! You can see we're up to 100,000 vertices, and we've got a much more uh, full-looking tree. So I'm just going to put that into, oh wow, big tree. Uh, put that into the camera's perspective. Uh, I'm going to actually delete that uh, lamp there. And we're going to make it a sun. And uh, we'll just angle it in. And we'll give that a quick render. So uh, that's what the tree looks like. Let's give it a little bit of a bigger render. Um, so it's very uh, detailed and kind of looks like a tree, aside from, I know, the colors. Uh, but we'll fix that uh, shortly. Just trying to get this uh, a good view. So uh, you can see all of the leaves are on there, and uh, that's all good. And you'll also notice that all of our settings have disappeared. Uh, that's kind of how it works, where it'll just make the settings up and disappear. Um, you kind of have to get used to that, um, because it's only uh, when you add it that you can adjust it. Uh, so for now, uh, let's work on... Uh, putting in the leaves with uh, some color. So we'll just make this leaves, and we'll make them kind of dark green like that. And then on the tree, uh, we'll make a new material, and we'll just call this uh, trunk. And we'll make that uh, like a dark brown, like 
like that, and we'll give that a quick render, and you can see uh, it looks like a pretty decent tree. Uh, so that's going to be our first tree here, and then uh, we're just going to, we need both uh, things, oh, and we're in edit mode, my bad. So let's just grab this and we'll scooch the tree uh, over here. Uh, can we still see that in our render? Yes, it appears we can. So uh, let's uh, add another tree real quick and we can go through the rest of the settings. So that's curve, add tree. You can see it's there. Uh, for leaves, we're going to show leaves, uh, branch splitting, and you can increase this by a lot. Um, However, I'm not going to do it too, too much. And uh, I believe we also need to display the bevel. Oop. Just takes it a little bit to run with all of those leaves. Uh, so we can also make the base split, uh, which you can see there, um, which can make it look a little bit more natural. And there's a ton of settings that you can go through uh, to make the tree exactly how you want. Uh, we can also go a little bit ridiculous and make there be uh, four levels of splitting, and this will probably take it quite a while. Yeah, I'm getting a spinning cursor. Um, this will probably take it a little bit to uh, generate all of the branches and then all of the leaves on top of that. Ooh, wow. So that was about 600,000 vertices. Uh, yeah, 600,000. Uh, this one was about 100,000. And now we've got like this incredibly dense tree, and actually I'm starting to have a little bit of lag when I'm panning it around. Uh, it's just that dense. Uh, let's see if uh, there's anything in the leaves that we're, we want to look through. Uh, let's bump down um, that to 15, and we'll see how that goes. There we go. So there's a, a little bit less in the way of leaves. Um, so let's give these uh, color... Uh, we've got our leaves, and then we've got our trunk. And you'll notice by adjusting the stuff over here, it didn't actually uh, d make this disappear. And we can also pop back to geometry, I should mention. And we can actually uh, name that preset. That's what that's uh, not displaying there. And then you can export it, and then you can load it right back in here, um, which is pretty cool. Uh, so uh, let's make this back to the color. Oop, looks like I right-clicked on it. And then uh, we'll give that a quick render, and we'll see how that goes. So you can see uh, this is our original tree here, and then this is our new tree. And depending on your scene, uh, that may or may not be what you're looking for, but it will certainly take a lot longer to render because it is hundreds of thousands of vertices. But uh, that little simple plugin there, actually probably complex plugin, uh, saves you a ton of work in creating a tree and you saw how reasonably simple it was to get uh, basic results um so i uh, hope this was useful for you guys and i'll see you in the next video bye <laughs>